Rain fell in California, but it didn't dampen the spirits of Badger fans who landed in LA today. Ready for that Rose Bowl. News 3's Jennifer Hoff is live with the group's reaction. Jennifer, how's the mood out there? It's got to be exciting. Hey, it is starting to get exciting now that the fans have arrived and about 600 of them did that today. They uh, pulled up to the hotel that is catering to Badger fans and no lie, right as that first bus pulled up, the rain that was falling this morning stopped. That's got to be a good sign of things to come and sure enough, we were there to catch it all. <laughs> If the sky was dark, the energy at the Hyatt Regency was full of light. Head inside, downstairs, and the burgeoning line of Badger fans shone even brighter with an energy tough to match. Go Bucky! Out of Wisconsin! Nearly 300 came by charter today, half of how many will be here through Tuesday's big game. So are we ready for a W this time? Damn right. <laughs> Some have been before, others never at all, like Madison Flower Shop owners Mia and George. We're doing the Rose Parade, we're doing everything, so. The couple is counting on Barry Alvarez to lead the team to a highly anticipated victory. He's going to be a stimulant for the team, you know, yeah. really. Yeah. It's going to make a big difference. The coaches yeah. are going to handle more of it, but I think, but he's going to be the glue, the glue and the inspiration. What if they don't win? Uh, it's going to be a long trip home. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be a very long trip, and it's going to be a long year. Ricky and Ted are Richfield natives whose loyalties lie with Wisconsin, even if they're in school at Milwaukee. So I wanted to come see Monty Ball's last game and Barry Alvarez. So. A year full of ups and downs didn't keep Vicki Mogul away, and she shares a sentiment felt by so many of these faithful fans. The game itself, I don't think there'll ever be any different feeling. It's a great game. It's a wonderful opportunity. You know, my mom was right. you got to go to the Rose Bowl. And now while the Alumni Association says that the number of fans who actually flew out this year is down, their excitement level certainly is not as they I'll look ahead to some of the rallies this weekend. Danica, there's tailgating and of course there's that, you know, big game coming up next week that you can bet that we will be at, Danica. Oh yeah, you know, the game. <laughs> With all those festivities, it's easy to forget. Well, Jen, I have to know, we saw that video last night of the infamous Beef Bowl. It sounds like the results are in. <laughs> the results are in, and just like last year, the Badgers come out on top, particularly an offensive lineman named Dallas Llewellyn, who ate seven slices of prime rib, and we learned each one of them weighed in at 22 ounces apiece. Now, as for the team, they put down 619 pounds of beef. That's compared to Stanford's 602 pounds. Never mind the mashed potatoes, the corn, and then the salad that the Lowry's restaurant staff all served up. So the big question is, why is all of this so important? Well, it's fun for one, but secondly, there are statistics floating around that say 70% of the time, the winner of that beef bowl, Danica, goes on to win the Rose Bowl. Oh, good news then, but uh, I guess it's all the extra energy, you know, they store up from all that prime rib, right? I don't know, I might argue, I, that calls for a nap for me if oh, I were to ever be able to eat that much. Then well rested then. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, thanks Jen for all of that. As always, you can follow us and our Rose Bowl coverage online. Follow hashtag Rose Bowl UW on Twitter to get all of Jennifer's latest news.